Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nick Toma. I'm Candace Kelly. The Water Street Bridge in Luzerne County has been closed for months after an inspection deemed it unsafe, but a solution for repairs is on the horizon. County Council is now working toward reopening the bridge, possibly with some help from the state. 28-22, Eyewitness News I-Team reporter Caroline Forbeck joining us live in the studio to explain. Caroline? Nick, Candace, the cost to remove and replace the bridge is about the same as rehabilitating it. Now, we don't know exactly what will be done with the bridge, but at least we now know where a lot of the money could come from. The Water Street Bridge connecting Pittston to West Pittston was built in 1914. Last summer, an inspection found extensive deterioration and erosion of the steel. It's been closed ever since, but now Luzerne County Council is close to a solution. Funding or finance that you discussed on the calls would be uh, hopefully 80% uh, from the federal government, 15% from Pennsylvania, and 5% from the county. During the work session on Tuesday, council members discussed the multi-bridge or bridge bundling projects agreement between the county and PennDOT, bundling the project for the county-owned Water Street Bridge with the project for the state-owned Fort Jenkins Bridge, about 300 feet upriver. If the county agrees to transfer the project to PennDOT, PennDOT can use federal and state funds authorized for this project to cover up to 95% of the costs. $26.4 million from the federal government $4.6 million from the state, and the county will provide the remaining 5%, about $1.5 million. PennDOT will take over design and construction. The county will be responsible for maintenance. This is an example of a council member speaking with the state, you know, on his own time you know, the outside of the council meeting and, and getting things done. Um, Acting County Manager Romilda Crocomo said no official decision has been made, but this is the initial step. We'll be working with PennDOT uh, as this project goes forward. And this is the initial step. To delay this, we're just delaying uh, PennDOT is planning a public meeting on the project for the first week of April. And we may know the next county manager in just two days. The resolution to appoint a new county manager is back on the agenda for the special council meeting on Tuesday after it was postponed last week. Nick, Candace? It'll be a busy mm -hmm. meeting for sure. Caroline, thanks.